Cone Bone Good evening, Pathless. It is I, Loki the Mad Titan, and welcome back to Enderall Forgotten Stories. The Skyrim. I already messed it up. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Total Conversion Mod. Enderall Forgotten Stories, or just Enderall for short. We are here in the Starling something or other. The hell are we? The old Starling Workshop. And we have gathered the items that we needed to gather. Is there something? Oh, there's different things moving around in there. I thought there was an enemy nearby, and I'm still super nervous. So if you watched the previous episode, you know however many episodes. I think we're like 70-plus episodes into this series. I played about God Mode on it for the first time in the last episode, and it went okay. It went okay. I didn't really hear anybody say one way or the other whether they liked it or disliked it or cared one way or the other. All right, there's totally somebody over there immediately. Um, where am I? I don't know. Why don't you use the map to find... That was weird. All right, I'm by the coast. There is no... And I still have to go all the way back to... Here, but we found out to get to here... Like, going to Duneville... Oh my god, it makes more sense to, like, go up... Then over, then to go down... Because you can't get from... Sorry, the cursor moves so... So quickly. You can't really get from down here, to up here. Huh. Alright. I'm concerned about that dude walking around over there because he's for sure going to be hostile. Because everybody's hostile. It's just a very hostile game. If you're new to the channel, those are Roscoe and Agaijimas. If you're new to the series, Hajime Mashte. And if you are a regular, and the series has a uh, fair amount of just absolutely awesome regulars like Mrs. Voice, like Aluin, like Teresa. Should we keep going? We could keep going a little bit. Let's let's see uh, who else pops to mind. Ish the stomach. I love that name. That's another fun one. Maybe one more. Can we do one more? <laughs> no, I'm blanking. I'm not. I'm not getting. I'm not getting anybody else. Oh, Falker one four five. Although I don't think she's watching anymore. And that's okay. That's okay. She did a playthrough of this series. I'll still promote her. Uh, always, because she's awesome. And uh, I appreciated some tips that she was giving me back when she was watching the series as well. But if you are a regular, Okai Renasai, welcome back. Welcome home. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Alright, so should we go try to kill... Because I gotta get back into... My mind back set into fighting. Is it just one guy? I'm hoping it's just one guy. All right, let's snag this pumpkin. He doesn't see me yet. See, here's the problem I have. I get so, like, used to... playing Fallout. Okay. 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 Things are not going well. Okay. That was a Sunborn. And they're... They're, uh... They're difficult. Oh, he's... And he was a cannonball, apparently, also. They're, they're kind of hard to beat. They didn't die. Did not die. Just trying to figure out... Alright, I remember where we are now. And I'm pretty sure there used to be more than just one of them, so I'm glad it's just one. Yeah, we went and hopped around and, like, checked out those boats and everything previously. This is right right down from where the Still Warden was. So I think I'm going to have to heal. I did not take any healing potions. I didn't do anything in between episodes. I mean, that's not a lot, but I'll take it. Did that... 
Did that not... Was that not a health potion? <laughs> uh... Let's get our mana back up. I, I, I feel like that was a health potion, but I guess I was wrong. Blessing of life, is that what I want to use? Increase your health. No, it's increasing your health. I don't want to increase it. I want to... Is it elixir? Increase health. No, I don't... Yeah, flash heal. Duh. Flash heal. Alright, here we go. It's gonna make our uh, arcane fever go up. All right, not too bad though. All right, let's put our attack spell back on. Grounding. And then we'll get going. Yeah. See, the major, the biggest difference between this is between um, me running, running away. You'll see a lot more of that. And you see a lot more of me just not fighting everything. Which means I'm not going to level up that often because I'm just not going to be fighting things. Okay, so... Uh, we're not really near anything good. I don't want to go back here. Because especially if the Sunborn have respawned, they're going to wreck me. I barely was able to just take out one. Imagine if there was a ton of them. We're nowhere near Myrad Tower, really, at all. So I think I'm just going to go to Duneville. Just because it's closer. I mean. Oh no. He gave me a scroll. I'm being dumb. I just remembered. He gave me a scroll. Where is it? Uh, He gave me scrolls? For some reason I thought it was only one. But anyway. Boom shakalaka. So I keep talking about during uh, the rim that it seems like there's not a ton of crossover between the people watching the rim. Except for the main three that I uh, spoke about initially. Uh, Mrs. Voice, Aluin, and Teresa. Um, but... I mean, if you're watching this, you'd probably also enjoy the rim. I'll tell people, send people the other way, I guess. Okay, can we switch out of third person, please? And this is a rather precarious place to teleport me to. All right, immediately take that scroll off, please. Yeah, why, <laughs> why up here? Because <laughs> it wants me to fall and die. All right, so we have, we were just fighting them. So my, in, again, my instinct, anytime I see them, especially for playing Skyrim, is to kill them things. But that's not what we're doing here. So this is main quest. It doesn't feel main questy, honestly. I did murder somebody, just straight up murdered somebody in the previous episode by just, by just, um, just running into them. Walk blessed. And then knocking them off. The cliff, which I found extremely entertaining. I'm sure I'm the only one. And I, I'm going to kill myself. I keep saying that it's going to happen. One more. Oh, it didn't work. No. One more. Oh. He should have been more careful. <laughs> I'm terrible. Now I want to go loot his body. He probably doesn't have anything worth... ...worth looting. At all. I'm just murdering people for no... And other guy's just sitting there. He saw me murder this guy and he doesn't... He doesn't care. At all. Like, he has nothing. He doesn't even have any money. And this guy had a speaking role. He had a whole little spiel that he told. All right, let me get back upstairs and stop messing around. I'm sorry.
funny if I uh, get over to the guy and he's like, I saw you knock that arcanist off the thing. I'm not willing to work with you anymore. You're a horrible person. You should at least put railings up. Evening. It's not my fault there's no railings. You, I don't want to be nosy, but is it true you were inside the memories of a dead Perean? That is incredible. I was. I've, I've done a lot of uh, incredible things. Because I'm a fictional character in a story. Well, uh, any luck. Listen, let's try this again. Kermai... Kaza or Tataka Jape. Man. Well, any Kaza, luck. I'm trying to say, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to have some luck saying it. Kaza or Tataka Jape. Woo! What do you. Th okay, we're, we're right to asking him questions. What do you think about the cycle? Do you want to find the star. Um, you want to find the star city, but what's the use if the cleansing is imminent? <laughs> well, you know, according to the prophecies, the star city has existed for tens of thousands of years now. In Nasa Toron's days, in the days of the Pyrians, and even in the days of those who were before them. In other words,. If the Ancient Fathers have survived all that time, they will survive these High Ones, as you call them, as well. Hmm. Interesting. If they have survived the cleansing of the Pyrians, it raises the questions of why they don't help us. Oh, yeah, why are they being... stingy? Maybe they already have. The Steel Machine, this beacon you have built on the Eye of the Gods. Isn't it possible that the Pyrians acquired the schematics from the Ancient Fathers? And even if that's not the case, and the Ancient Fathers simply choose not to intervene, can you really blame them? Look at what mankind has done to the world ever since they've been here. If the Ancient Fathers consciously avoid interfering, they have their reasons. Don't judge them before you have met them. Am I actually going to meet them? Because that's that's kind of cool. Um, just uh, just a couple quick tips. I my my esophagus and up into my uh, throat are maybe the worst that they've been. Uh, I think I sound fine, but I'm I'm struggling. Just so you know, <laughs> I'm 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 struggling. Uh, I still want to record because I always want to play, and if I'm going to play, I'm going to record, so that's that. And uh, I'll tell you another thing after we do, do some more. Isn't it a bit shel shel shellfish? <laughs> Let's try it again. Isn't it a bit selfish to flee the Star City despite the cleansing? Who knows how many humans you could help with your technology, so you want to seek shelter, flee from the cleansing? It will be nice. <sighs> no. Gertrude and everything you see here is the result of decades of work. Not long ago, there was no threat at all from which he had to flee. What he wants is to fulfill his life's dream, his people's prophecies. That the Starlings one day return to where they came from, to their home. That's all. Is it true that you built this entire ship on your own? He does have help, but indeed, according to your standards, he did it on his own. You know, many things become possible when one uses brains instead of muscles. I wouldn't know much about that. Alright. So we found both the things. The other thing is, uh, if you're a regular of any of my series, you know that I, I drink. Um, not alcohol, but I drink liquids <laughs> while I record. Uh, the, mainly it's because, well, I'm talking a lot, but also the what the keeping my esophagus lubricated helps with my throat issues. Um, I am drinking something called Masala Jira Kashmira, and um, it's not good. But I have a rule: if I buy it, I drink it. So I'm 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 drinking it. It's very unpleasant. Does so if you hear me like or shivering or something, you know why? Because it's that bad. I tried actually mixing some Sprite into it to just 
mellow it out and it's still the aftertaste is what's bad the first taste is palatable the aftertaste is very unpleasant all right you were right about the cube it was in the old room ah he thought so very good work your reputation is well deserved oh also this episode is not sponsored by masala jira kashmira i don't know what else to say about it it's unpleasant yeah I'm trying to see if i can give you any more information about it it's obviously a uh, Indian uh, product from India. If you know me, I like to try anything and everything because you don't know until you try it. I found the alloys. At least I think so. Perfect. That's them. Good work. That would be everything, right? Yes, he didn't expect it, but you and your order have been of great assistance indeed. Give him one more day and Gertrude will fly through the heavens like a fairy. Ah, and you should go to the captain's cabin before you leave. Your Grand Master arrived a short while ago, and it seems he wants to talk to you. Alright, let's go talk to Tilor. We'd already gone in here and explored around a little bit in the previous episode, but there wasn't really much happening. But maybe it'll be more interesting now. And talking to T-Lore is always interesting. Prophet, have you found the missing pieces? Um, yes, I have. Yes, uh, he said the ship would be ready to fly in a day. Good. According to Kurmai, your journey will last two days. I've instructed him to first head for the Nexus Tower. According to the Starling writings, this is where the Ancient Fathers kept all their knowledge. The heart of the Star City, so to speak. Ah, and you will not be traveling on your own. The mercenary, Sakaresh, Magistra Yaela, and her adjutant will accompany you. I expect you to be back in the temple in one week, with knowledge about the Numinas. Uh, will Ark withstand the siege in the meantime? As long as Sharim's barriers are holding, yes. However, we should not rely on them. Good. Where are the others? They will be there when the ship leaves. Before you go, however, I suggest you return to Ark to properly equip yourself. Who knows what you will be facing up there? Okay. Yeah, I mean, since I'm playing, I would love to just go, but if I was still using God mode, we would just go. But, I mean, I I need, I need to, I need stuff. So, we're just going to go right from here. Let's go to Ark. Boom, shock, lock, and then we'll come back. Boy, that hurt. Hmm. Yeah, basically, I have to speak very gently. I don't know if that even makes any sense. Anytime I sort of um, use any any sort of uh, emphasis or oomph into what I'm saying, it's very painful. So, like... My best friend, the prison officer, Brian, says, Oh, hear me, path-abiding citizens. No, that's not what he says. Again, putting me in the third person. Um, it's like, well, hmm? why don't you do you? something about it? Well, first of all, there's just not really something I could do about it. Unfortunately, uh, the next option's... Probably surgery. And, uh... I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared. I'm a little baby. I'm a little, I'm a little, little uncomfortable with even thinking about it. Never mind, talking about it. That's what's fun about this. It's because it's just me sitting here. And... I know, like, 99% of you don't care, but... You know, I'm just... Talking. And, uh... I don't want... 
poisons necessarily, but I do want potions. Alright, so first things first, obey your thirst. Let's drop off things I'm not going to use. Alright, I'm going to keep the cure disease. I mean, that could be useful, theoretically. But I mainly wanted to grab... Ambrosia and health potions. Um, they do have some weight to them, but I actually don't have that many. Honestly, I thought I had more. Uh, all right, so this increases, man. Oh wait, okay, so this one increases. This regenerates. So that's if I need my magic back fast. You know what? You know why I don't have that many in here? Because I, for for the longest time, the reason why I have as much money as I do is I've used these as currency. I collected ingredients, brought the ingredients back, made potions, sold the potions, so that way I had money to buy other things. So... Kind of come back to bite me in the butt a little bit here now that I'm playing like a big boy. Like I don't I literally don't have any other ambrosia. Um. All right. So what if I take that and what if I make some potions? I don't normally do this. Oh, I'm over encumbered now. <laughs> Luckily, it's right behind me. All right, so first of all, I want Ambrosia. I don't know how much, but I want Ambrosia. So... Okay, I'm already messing up because I wanted to take drink that potion first. Where's that potion? Um, -da 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 -da. Potion. Potion of the Apothecary is standard. Alchemy is enhanced. Okay, hold on. Just had a thought. But you're over encumbered. Um, damn it. <laughs> you can tell I planned this out super well. Alright, where's my weight? Just to get me under the weight. So I could get down. Okay, there we go. So I could get downstairs. Because I think I have things that boost. Alchemy? I swear I at least have one piece of armor that boosts alchemy. This is mildly irritating because I really want I really want to just go. But I don't want to go there and just get my butt handed to me repeatedly over and over again and not be able to progress because I built my character so poorly. Alright, where is... I'm trying to go quick too, so hopefully I'm not missing anything. Rhetorics. Sneak, stamina. I mean, I know, where is it? Jesus, there's so much stuff in here. I know I have, like, I know the name of one of the things. It's that, like, that one of the very first pieces of armor I got from that, from that, you know, the guy with the thing. <laughs> the hell is it? The werewolf guy. The first of the, um, the myths uh, and legends that I encountered. It's on display in the basement, isn't it? I think. This episode is also not sponsored by Dr. Pepper Cream, which I'll be drinking as soon as I finish this other stuff. This one right here. Um, oh. 
Okay, I just I didn't realize if I clicked on it, it's just gonna take it. So what am I even wearing? I'm wearing stuff that it's a set, but I don't know. This is the best set for me to be wearing. This one, created potions are nine percent more powerful. Uh, increases health regeneration speed by two points. What health regeneration? Claw damage. Um, I mean, the rest of it's like about being a wolf, so that's not really relevant. I don't. I don't want to take anything else because I don't know anything else is going to be beneficial to me. Right, we might as well put that on because knowing me, I'll have taken it out of there and then actually forget to put it on. That would be genius. I mean, I, so I looked up the sets and the sets are confusing because sometimes there's like five pieces to a set. Sometimes there's four pieces, sometimes it doesn't seem to be any sort of uh, consensus of the amount of pieces in a set. So like I wanted to try to make sure that I had a full set of something. So like Ash Warrior, it looks like we have four pieces. Because basically, I tried to look up and I said, "All right, well, what's <laughs> if I'm going to be playing for real world like a big boy? What's the best set of armor to wear?" And I, I couldn't really get like this is a five piece set, for example, one, two, three, four, five. Ash War might be five as well. I might have only found four. Same thing with the uh, set of the Fallen, Mysterious Nomad. I only have two. Nemesis, I have three. Um, set of the North, Eyes of the North, Fist of the North, Heart of the North. Eyes, fist, heart, yeah, so I have four of that, and that's what I'm currently wearing. Um, Ratcatcher, I only have two. Set of Scarlet, Scarlet Knight, I only have one. Set of Sc Scarag, I have four. Swashbuckler, I have three. Tracker, I have four. Tribunal, I have four. I mean, do I have any that's specific for the spells that I'm casting? Like, I think I have an all kinds of sneak stuff. And I don't know that sneak stuff makes any sense anymore. So, like, if I see Elementalism, a set that's, like, good for that. Uh, this is, like, a step down from the, the one that I just got out of the special one I got out of the basement. But similar. And the rest of these are just, maybe these are not all even special things, but I thought, you know, they sounded cool. Or there was just some other specific reason I kept them. Alright. I'm gonna look at the Selena set just because there's. We got the armor, the gloves. But see, this, again, it's block, two handed, uh, heavy armor, one handed. I mean, the, the the wings is the is the only one, and that counts as a as as other. So could I wear that? Do I have anything else that counts as other? Oh, the lantern. Oh, no, that's not going to replace my lantern, is it? And it just says clothing. Oh, because it's, it's literally... That's just my outfit that I was wearing for the longest time. All right, so yeah, the lanterns are also other. The backpacks are also other. Okay. This is all stuff that, like, if I was playing the game right, I would... <laughs> I would know better by now. Set of the Wandering Mage sounds like that's would be something that I want, but I'm looking 
Increases health regeneration speed. I didn't even know that our health regenerated. How, how embarrassing is that? I do use entropy, but like I would wait. I see elementalism. Okay. And all right. I guess we're gonna go wandering mage. I don't. I don't know if that's the best choice, honestly. But I mean, if I go up, well, all right. This is. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Slow down. Uh, this says elementalism spells ten less mana. But this was eight plus eight, so this is sixteen altogether. This one's ten. Can I get another ten? All right, we got we're up to eighteen. All right, so set of tribunals better than wandering mage, and it's light armor. Tracker does not sound like it would be relevant. Nope. Squashbuckler, I mean, I only have two of them. Scrag, I only have three, and those do not seem relevant to the build of my character. Scarlet Knight, I only have one piece. Not particularly relevant, and then a set of North is what I'm wearing, which... Again... Other than Sneak... This does... Alright, so Nemesis does... I only have three. No? Still... Alright, before you completely give up, was that the last one? Mysterious Nomad, I only have two. Elemental, only 2%? That's not, that's not great. Shroud of the Fallen. I mean, this, this looks very cool. But, I'm not really going for looks at this point. I'm looking for what's going to keep me alive. Alright, I think, I think... Yeah, because now we're back up to Selena stuff. Alright, I think we know. So, for our regular day-to-day, -day, we are going set of the Tribunal. Because, again, this one does elemental spells 10%. That's my main slammy jam. So, yes. Entropy spells, mana, cost less mana, increase your mana by 15 points. That sounds awesome. Uh, Hood of the Trinity, Mentalism spells 9%, elemental 8. Light magic spells 8 Increase shock resistance, sure. And entropy eight, sonic seven, magic regenerates faster, increase health regeneration by five speed by five points. Alright, and then we'll drop off the set of the north because they're just not currently relevant to the character. And I wanna see can I Alright, let's get out of here. I'm sorry if this is boring. I'm sorry. This is the type of nonsense I'd normally do in between episodes. Alright, so if I throw this on real quick. Boom. 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 So yes, I can wear all of that. Okay. We're not gonna right now, because I'm gonna put this back on. But we can wear all of that. But now I need to go, because I have Ring of Shadow and Amulet of Concealment. Both of which are sneak related. And we're not Mr. Sneaky Man, so go ahead and have that. Oh my god, a crash? Are you serious? Alright, and we're back. I did a bunch of uh, the boring stuff. Figured since it crashed, I might as well get that out of the way. And I was about to teleport back to the ship, and then I realized... Useland gave us a key, and there's supposed to be an item. So we might as well take a look at that item. So I made some potions that seem relevant. I grabbed some food that seems useful, and might have not done it the best, but <laughs> I tried. And um, hear my words. Oh, path of I picked the right outfit. I went to upgrade the outfit, but apparently my handicraft, even though it's 68, not high enough to upgrade my outfit. Miss sir. All right. 
Uh, can I? Look. Hello. I How wanna, may I be of service? I I wanna. I want to um. Access my vault. Of course. I feel like he's not giving me any. That's. That, I didn't say I wanted. I want to go to my vault. Of course. Why is it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm confused. Yes. All right. I guess maybe I just I just I can just go in myself. I thought I had asked permission. All right. I don't. Remember which key was Useland's key? Because of course I don't. One bank vault key one. I'm glad. I'm glad it tells me that because I just have to remember where's yeah. where's one. Those are all four digit Walk numbers. West. You two, can you tell me where? Vault one is. <sighs> it's none of these. These are all, again, four digit numbers. So what's. Seriously, what's Vault one? <sighs> they just sit on their asses and hope things settle one. themselves. Okay. Idiots. What do we got here? Al Rashim's heritage. Is that a weapon? How much does that weigh? You gotta give me a sword. It just—it just looks like a piece of wood. I mean, it's definitely unique looking. But I'm, I'm not going to use this. Oh, boy. Okay. Now I got to go. Um. Well, thank you. I mean, thank you, son. It's the thought that counts. Hmm? Can I help you? No. I was hoping. I don't know what I was hoping. Something that would fit the build of my character just a little bit more. But that's okay. We're gonna drop that off. Miss My sir. Right over here. Perfect. Alright, so. Normally would not do this, but I don't want to carry an extra 10 pounds of weight. That was the other thing. I tried to keep my carry weight down. So, since I'm in here, you want to see real quick. So, this is the only weapons I have. Why do I have this? Ay, ay, ay. Alright. I always carry these with me. I don't. I don't know that I need to have them with me. So that's an extra nine pounds of weight, and I've been carrying the bow with me, which is an extra eight pounds of weight. So this is what I have on now. So everything is geared towards elemental. So hopefully I kill things faster. <laughs> um, I mean, not, not faster. It doesn't make it stronger. It just makes the spells cost less. So then I, I guess I don't have to worry about the mana. I made all kinds of potions. Look at my Ambrosia potion. Lessens your arcane fever 72%. That seems like such overkill, but whatever. That's what I made um, while we're in here. Oh, no. I don't want to accidentally put that in the chest. Don't do that. I want to make sure I take that off. I don't need this. Did I pick up any other silly scrolls I don't need? Food. I grabbed all the light food. Um, just because there's like I have quantities of it, and maybe I can just like eat a bunch of bananas and heal my. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Can I store this? No. Okay. Keys don't weigh anything, and then my monies, uh, my lockpicks, and that's in my inventory forever. That's it. That's all I got. That is it. So let's, um, what did I see? What did I want to do? 
yeah, I want to turn off teleport to arc because we're not doing that. We're going back to his cave and let's um and I was able to pick up one more of these in case I need it. So I got nine expert, five master. Let's let's rock, rock and roll. Hopefully this is hopefully I did the right stuff. Hungry? I've got just what a weary traveler needs. Get me out of here. Oh, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, I'll show you when we when it loads up when we get there. The the freaking outfit is is um the the dudes I hate from Skyrim. If you watch me do any of the Skyrim series, it's freaking look. The um why is my brain keep want to say all the Mary D Dominion? What what that sounds like something from Star Trek. Uh the 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 Thalmor. I'm freaking I'm dressed as a Thalmor now. Great. Why does it look like I have a sword? I don't. That backpack is a lie. Anyway. Let's get going. And we will... I mean, can, I, can I jump over the fence, please? Thank you. I'm trying to speed this process up a little bit. Oh my god. I took damage from that. That's not a good sign. Excuse me. An outlander. Get out of my way. Isn't this nice? Okay. So, I mean, my assumption is this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Just says wait until Gertrude is, Gertrude is ready for takeoff. That's the prophet, isn't it? Oh. Now, Callie has really not wanted to speak very much to me at all. Are you. Are you available to have a conversation with Transcribe me now? Transcribe verse 80 100 times. Yes. The sky can rain fire. Uh, we did all these already. I just does never change. Hmm. Until that Quaric appeared, I actually thought things were going relatively well. Like, with the Sigil Stone and this beacon. But a war with Nareem... That changes everything. They trump us in every aspect. Manpower, equipment, siege machinery. Let's just hope the walls of Ark are really as durable as they're said to be. All right, she's already said that. We've already we've already done all these. What if I try to? I don't want to go through this again. What if I go in here? Yes. Uh, do you remember the things I told you about the radio? But the yeah, we've done all this. All right. No, I'm not. Not rehashing any of that. You don't ever want to talk to me either, Grandma Sparkles, mm -hmm. in your fancy robe. She still, still doesn't want to talk to me. I'm flying this ship now. Uh. Okay. Well, none of that's new. <laughs> is there a place I can have a night night somewhere? Maybe that's what I need to do. Is it? Is it? I need to have another night night. I did sleep for a little bit. Till it was daytime, so I could run through the shops real quick. I mean, this isn't Fallout, so I can't sit. But I, there was beds, right? I found beds in here somewhere. Right? Yeah, beds. So maybe I should just... Oh, I forgot. They're fake beds. Oh, my God. All right, this one's not a fake bed. Maybe I should... Let's just have it. It says sleep in the bed, but it won't let me sleep in the bed. W. T. F. So what am I supposed to do here? You know, we couldn't go through this earlier. Nope. I just wanted to make sure I had stuff so that way I don't die when we go wherever we're going. But I'd very much like to go there now, please. Um. Yeah, I. I. I, I, I found a bed. It's over here. You won't let me sleep in it. There's, I found multiple beds. I found one, two, three, four, five beds. But you won't let me sleep in it. Swear to God. Scroll basket. Oh. oh. Okay. Uh. 
Sorry, I threw that basket and it disappeared. I'm leaving. Okay, so... How much longer till we, till we leave? Because... I don't know if there's any other beds around here. Oh! Yes, more! Walk blessed. You probably huh? won't have anything to talk to me about either. Short answer? <laughs> We're screwed. With this fanatical madman in front of our gates, our time's running out. And all these possessed people on the streets don't exactly make it better. We have to ignite the beacon, and we have to do it fast. Else... <laughs> let's not talk about it. Huh. You're the one they call the Prophet, right? Well, congratulations on passing the trial, I guess. Alright, can I sleep in one of the novice one of these like these guys' beds? They have to have a Did he just make a weird noise at me? The hiccup? Can I sit and wait? No. This sucks. Is there any beds over here? Where do you guys sleep? Anybody know where they sleep? Do they sleep? Is there beds? I swear there's no beds. It's the silliest things that hinder me sometimes. Alright. Bed. No bed. It's like a little tiny treasure chest over here though. That's cute. With a lockpick. I don't I don't need any more lockpicks. I need a bed. Can you have a bed in your chest? That'd be weird, but does anybody want to sleep? Oof. Somebody's cold. It's my punishment for killing people. The other, the other guys still floating in order to. Alright, the so there's... Oh, what am I going to have to do? I'm going to have to leave? So I wasted a scroll? Is that what you're telling me? I don't know that I'm going to have to come back here. Is that why they gave you three? Because somehow they knew I was going to screw up and come back here before we were... Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, I used all my stamina. I didn't realize there was a dude up on like a, uh, a scaffold over there working. Yeah, I really wanted to uh, upgrade the clothes I'm wearing to exquisite, but uh, no, it wasn't wasn't an option. Where do you spiders sleep? Do you have a nest somewhere I can lay in? All these supplies, but nobody nobody sleeps. There's no beds. It just sucks. I don't really want to go out adventuring. I mean, it again. It just says what? Wait until Gertrude is ready for takeoff. How long? How long? Another day? Another day, another dollar? Give me a dollar to make you holla? I don't know. I'm sorry I messed this up. If I knew if I knew this, I would have just slept back in Ark. I, mean, I guess technically that's always an option. Because, like, I'm nowhere near anything. So, what if I... I mean, it's silly, but... Alright, so where was I? Alright, so this is where I came out of the bank. 
Yeah, we'll just do this, I guess, because... Otherwise, I'm just screwing around, wasting time. We'll go sleep for a day, and hopefully they're like, Let's go! Let's do it! Let's fly this ship! Let's move this bus! That doesn't want to load. <laughs> it's mocking me because we still have to go through the load to get into my house, too. Come on. All right. Where am I exactly? All right. Go, hmm? go, go. Can I go, help you? Go, go, go. Hmm? All right. We made it to the house. I'll turn around. Throw in Useland's uh, beautiful, useless sword. And then have a quick night night. Do you want to go night night? All right, so right here, boom, we can drop off. All right, what else? I forgot. I had the battle axe too that I don't need. And there was nothing else, right? Oh, this, not a big deal though. All right, I have another night night. We'll sleep for an entire day for the most part. I'll do like 22 hours. That's got to be good enough, right? I'm a little worried about it being the uh, 16th of the Kraken. Hallelujah. All right, so again, my apologies. I'm gonna drop a save just because we're about to go do something important. We'll switch to here and here we go. Yeah, once I did all the inventory stuff, which was really um, kind of boring to me, <laughs> I just wanted to get back and get going. Wanted to get going, rock and rolling, you know? Uh, other points of interest, we have received the new computer. So at some point in time, I might need to take some time off to set... Why is that dude running? Where are you going? Why are you running? Where? Why is he running? I mean, he's not really going that fast, honestly. It looks like he's running, but this is like me when I run. What? How did he get? What happened? Yes. Yes, that just might work. What do you? What? Do you, I can't jump. What do you think happened to that hmm. guy? An expedition to the Star City. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. What happened to him? You have any idea? You just wait and see. Oh wow. <laughs> um Okay, I just don't see the fucking point. Me neither. Ever since I threw the basket through the wall, I think I've caused some craziness to occur. Let's um uh. There's just dead bodies everywhere. I can't believe there's been murder happening 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 here. All right, so who do we got? Who the hell are you? The jam? Oh, hey. It's good that you're here. Can you believe it? I mean that we are seriously on board an airship and will soon set out for the lost city of the Starlings. I can't. Um, who are you? I guess uh, a kind of hard uh, shot considering what's happened over the past few months. Honestly, I don't care much for the Starlings or the prophecies. My only hope is that we find the Numenos up there. Yeah, I'll go with this one. You do have a point there. But anyway, let's see if that thing even flies. Who knows? I have no idea who that is, if I'm supposed to know. Do you have different dialogue, or you still don't want to talk Saira, to me? Saira, it's good to see you. Yay! Saira, it's good to it's see good you. It's good to see you, too. Good. 
And on their way back, the others will be able to steer the ship without you, correct? Yes. They won't be steering anything, to be precise. Because Gertrude flies on her own as soon as the coordinates have been set. Autopilot. He thanks you, Tealor Aranthil. Any other Grand Master would have laughed at him, but you have listened instead. Now he will be the first of his people to meet the Ancient Fathers. It... it is hard to believe that. Walk blessed, and all the best for your fight. Thank you. I've had a major wave of deja vu go over me for some reason at, during this conversation. I, I don't know why. Look who's here. Talk to Kamai if you're ready to start. He's just waiting for your signal. All right, beautiful blue eyes. Okay, anybody else grab my sparkles? Prophet. Oh, damn. Uh, he, I just got something. Did that say uh, Narasul's amulet? Uh, how's the situation in the city? The seals are work. Okay. Um, I didn't. I didn't click on him. I just walked over here. Yes. Korak will not dare sending his troops straight against our walls. That would be technical suicide. For now, we are safe. However, the Red Madness is getting worse by the minute. The cleansing is closing in. I can feel it. Okay. You gave me something, and you're not addressing it. So... Yes. I, I'm confused. Yes. Um... Uh Okay, I don't know. The last passenger has arrived. That is a pleasure. All right, well grandma that's more than grandma sparkles has said to me in the past. Wait, where what where is he going? You didn't have anything else to say to me? You're not coming with us? All right, so he just gave me his dad's Oh, hey. I'm so confused. He just he just gave it to me and there was no dialogue for it. What does this do? Oh, okay, that's interesting. Oh, Adila. What did you do? You still lamenting over that? Look who's here. Hey, you got anything else? Saira. It's good to see you. Okay. It's I guess it's time to go. I'm a little I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. So that that said the cooldowns for the talent, so that's that's these. Um, so that could be particularly useful if I ever remember to actually use Arctic Wind. <laughs> I mean, I have other things. And I just don't ever remember to use these. Like, that could be particularly useful. <coughs> it does say shortly, so I don't know how long shortly is. And since I'm not using God Mode, theoretically, I should be able to use Shock Nova now. Alright. Yeah, let's put it on. I mean, I spent all that time picking it. So what if... I mean, I'll save it for a fight, I guess. All right, let's... Oof. Oh, I want to go give Callie a hug. Warm her up. All right, um... Ooh, look at your fancy boots. What's up, uh... <clears throat> did you get shorter somehow? I feel like a giant standing next to this dude. Seriously. What? He's such a little dude. I don't think he was... Am I that big compared mm -hmm. to everybody? No. Grandma Sparkles is this... No. I sounded like... I just put him out to look at it. <laughs> I sounded like that guy. Oh my god. Alright. Welcome aboard. How are things going? Are you ready? I'm as ready as I'm ever going to be. Yes, let's begin. Well then. All aboard. Then raise the ramp. She's taking off. 
I'm driving. And there we go. Good. Whoa. Very good. Incredible. incredible. All right, we're going up, right? So Fly. I'm the king of the world. Can I see? This one see us going through the. Uh... Can I jump up here? Through the hole. Would it be better from the back of the ship? I don't know. I... This works for me for now. Ooh, we got a fade out and everything. Oh wait, what, 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 what was that noise? That's that's like a, they just took stuff from me. Noise? No, 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 no. What was that noise? What? Why am I? I better have all my stuff. It took off. What? What is this? What? Why did it? Why am I wearing gallant shoes and a tunic? All right, take this off before you accidentally use it. But what? Why? All right, we got some two souls part five. We got some aurora borealis going. Find Calia on the starship. So am I just like wearing like casual clothes? Well, we're gonna speak with Kalia. Oh my, I got some wrinkles under my eyes. This game has stressed me out. What's Grandma Sparkles doing over here? I don't trust you. Can I put my amulet back on at least so we can see? My magic lantern, excuse me. What you doing, Grandma Sparkles? Well, look who's here. How are you? Um, well. Uh, I'm on a flying ship on my way to the home of the ancient starlings. I'd say I'm excited. I just hope we find out what we're looking for up here. Um, I don't know. Yes, excited. I guess I feel the same. <sighs> well, did you want something in particular, or are you just looking for some company? You want to go blow decks and mess around? Now, the Grandmaster told me that you've been researching the Star People's culture for decades. Why? You are not a starling yourself. <laughs> You're right. But on the other hand... Do you have to be a mummy in order to dedicate yourself to archaeology? The Starlings. I have been fascinated by them since I was a child. You must know, their technology is so powerful that if they wanted to, they could probably conquer the entire civilized world with it. But they don't. And why? Because they all share the same dream instead. So listen, I didn't know Grandma Sparkles was going to have Tarhudi's voice. I'm glad she's talking to me now because uh, I enjoy the voice hat tricks. Uh, the dream of fulfilling the old prophecies and returning home. Exactly. A place without war or hunger where all are born equal and enjoy the same rights, regardless of their standing in society. And for some reason, this thought has fascinated me as much as the Starlings themselves do. Call it a fantasy, but if there is such a place, if it really is like the old legends, we'd be able to learn so much from the ancient fathers. And, well, there it is, the answer to your question. I suppose that this naive hope is the reason for my interest in the Star People's culture. Do you believe that such a society is even possible? I hate to break it to you, but... There's no thing as perfect world, and it never will be. If you ask me, this all sounds like daydreaming. Hmm, daydreaming. I thought about dreams, but I haven't really thought about daydreams. Interesting. Yeah, uh, will be nice. Well, that is a good question. I guess we'll have to wait until we find one. Anyway. Let us continue our conversation at a later time, shall we? I want to enjoy the night sky. <coughs> Who knows how many more chances we will have. Fair enough, Grandma Sparkles. Thank you for the illuminating conversation. The daydreaming, uh... As soon as you said that, kind of prickled my pickle. You know?
Can I jump off the ship? <laughs> Probably not a good idea. All right, let's go talk to Kalia. All right, well, hold on. We'll talk. We'll try to talk to everybody. You got anything else to say, Kermai? Mm. Yes. What do you want? Uh, you have my respect, to be honest. I doubted this, this machine would actually be able to fly. We've been airborne for a day now. About when will we arrive? Is this, this our version of Are We There Yet? It will take some more time. Use it to stretch your legs or to talk to your friends. You will know when it is time. Okay. I mean, this is a little dickish, but I'll say it anyway. <laughs> yes. Yes, he had his doubts too. Yet, do not admire him, but rather those who came up with the schematics, schematics. for the ship. Every single piece of Gertrude is based on the research of hundreds, maybe thousands of brave, starling researchers. Alright, I love the word schematics. Oh, there was a secret run at the bottom. I'm glad I went down. What do you think is waiting for us in the star set? It's not going to be what we're expecting at all. Like, at all. It's going to be... There's going to be... It's, it's... It's bad. I don't know how bad, but it's going to be bad. Well, peace, hopefully. Forgive him, but he has no better answer. I mean, this is Enderal. So we're going to get there. It's going to be in ruins. It's going to be, like, demons walking around or something. I, I don't know. It's just... It's not going to be good. Now, what's up, uh, person I don't remember at all? Point of view, isn't it? I really wish the war and the high ones weren't casting shadows over all of this. This world can be so beautiful. Right, he's really happy. All right, it's interesting. It just wants me to talk to Kalia, not Yaspar. I mean, we're gonna talk to everybody before we go to sleep, because we know the poop's gonna hit the fan when we, when, while we're sleeping, because that's what always happens. All right, wait. It, I thought it said I only talked to one, but I have multiple quest markers. Oh, because the other one's to go to bed. Okay, well, there she is. Um, they had also made it seem like if I talk to her, then... Saira, how are... <sighs> okay, let's just skip the small talk. I was never good at that. I wanted to see you because there's something I need to show you. Follow me. I couldn't sleep, so I used the chance to take a look around. The thought that Kermine did this all by himself... It's incredible. It would take dozens of Andralian craftsmen at least five years to do this. Are you going to the secret door that I found? I'll follow you in that booty anywhere, Kalia. So, are you ready? Uh... You gonna show me your boobies? What, what's going on here? Uh, this must be where the ship's machinery is, isn't it? Yeah, but just bear with me. You'll be surprised. Ready to go in? Oh, uh, I, I guess so. Good. I'm a little nervous now. Is this like a Fifty Shades of Grey thing? What is what is? Chromai told me about this place. This sphere is what keeps us in the air, and it draws its energy from the water. Crystal water, that's what he called it. I just had to see it for myself. Well, no wonder I couldn't get in here by myself. Wow. It's beautiful, don't you think? Uh, so this thing is what keeps us from crashing right back down there. That's comforting. Um, no, we're going to say it's sending us. I was really hoping it was going to have something where I could uh, flirt with her and say, uh, uh, yes, y you are. In any case, I... He just can't believe it. No, he just can't believe it. Oh, damn. Let me guess. We shouldn't be down here. No, quickly, run. Run, run where? Where am I? Where am I running to? That should do it. Now, wait a second. What part of vertical didn't you understand? He thinks his instructions were clear. Stay here. Do nothing. But no, 
You decide to run around the ship and open whatever door crosses your path. And no, don't look at him like that. Next time, there will be consequences. You can't figure out if he's talking to me or talking to the spiders. Well, hmm. Okay. Saved by the bell, I guess? Yes. What is it? I... Oh, by the name of the sun, I just can't believe it. Here we are, on a mission to save mankind, and instead of sharpening our weapons and talking gloomily, we play hide and seek like two little kids who just stole an apple from their neighbor. That's just bizarre, isn't it? Well, as far as I know, gloomy talk hasn't won any battles yet. Yeah, I guess it is. Uh, no, we're going with that one. No, it hasn't. Uh, anyway, I guess we're safe down here. At least for a while. But actually, I don't mind. This place, it makes me feel... serene. Let's you forget why we're here. That's true. What happened to you, by the way, you seem different. Do I? In a good or bad way? In a good way. That's good to hear. You know, Satyra, I've been thinking about what happened in the castle and the talk we had after that. Yeah, what's your conclusion? Well, do you remember when I said that I should maybe just give up and accept that I'll never be able to fully control that thing inside me? You tried to comfort me and told me that what happened in the castle was just an accident and that with just enough tenacity, I could make sure it would never happen again. At first I was grateful, but then I thought about it and realized that there was actually some truth in what I had said. You know, all my life I've tried to kill that part of me because it made me feel despicable, and every time I failed I hated myself for it and thought that I was just too weak, but that was the wrong way to look at it from the very start. This thing, the only way to truly kill it would be to kill myself. And I can't and won't do that. Not now, when there's so much at stake, nor in the future if there is one. So what are you trying to say, that you're just going to let it run free? No, I won't let it harm anyone ever again. But I'll accept that it's a part of me. You know, Saira, what good did all the self-loathing ever do? I've been dealt a tough hand, and with that thing and these urges inside of me, I'll never be like the others. I think that's the best, maybe the only way to deal with something like this. Accept it, as despicable as it may be, because it is part of who you are. Do you understand what I mean? I'm not deluding myself. Living with this thing will be something I have to wrestle with for the rest of my life. There will always be moments of weakness when it will try to get the best of me. But I will always resist. And I will do so without condemning myself every time it happens. And in the meantime, I will live. I will do all the things that I never allowed myself to do. Build friendships, go see the world, and go dancing. Even if the latter would be a rather amusing sight. Don't forget sneaking around sky ships. <laughs> yes, and that. Sounds like a good plan. So, all right, I'm always afraid to talk while I have dialogue on screen because I've messed up in the past by rambling for too long. So we're just gonna go with sounds like a good plan. It does, yes, and it surprises me just how much. I'm not sure if I could have gotten here without you. Your friendship, it means a lot to me. And I hope you'll find this Numinos in the Forgotten City because there are still so many things I want to do after all this is over. <sighs> Kurmai should be gone by now, so I think it's safe to go upstairs without him noticing you. You'll stay here, I take it? For a while, yes. As I said, I like this place, and I need some time to sort through my thoughts. 
All right, I was kind of hoping I would have the option to stay here with her, especially considering it put me back in third person again for some reason. Then I'll see you around. You will. Okay. Interesting. All right, well, now I, now I get to go talk with that yes bar. Which, again, I thought it was weird that it was only giving me the option to talk with Kalia. So. Um... Everything that Kalia you just talked about, it I mean it it um it resounded with me, like on a deep level, because I mean I've had issues with my O C D and my anxiety and my anger for pretty much my entire life and it's I've tried so hard for so many years to kind of stuff you know that part of me down and fight it and pretend like it doesn't exist and it it's so like soul crushing and exhausting because it it's it, it it is a very big part of who I am so, you know, again, we're, we're metaphorically, I mean, she's, li you know, she's literally talking about a, that she has like a, a monster inside of her, but that's, I've literally felt that way so many times after losing my temper and, and being a monster. So I know that's not exactly what she was saying, but as she was talking about, it, I really, I felt a, a connection. I felt a, a ring of truth. In what she was saying and that sometimes you just have to accept now with in my case um, the medication that I'm on is, is helped tremendously but it's it's still there it just helps me control it much better I guess is a good way of addressing it or or, or looking at it and I, uh, as much as I want to keep going and I have no idea where I am time-wise, I think this is a good place to wrap this episode up. And we can pick up the next episode uh, talking to Yaspar and then actually getting to the Starling City. But that was good. I'm hoping that, that maybe Mrs. Voice or somebody else that knows can let me know is, are these conversations guaranteed conversations or are these conversations that I'm getting because I've chose the right choices with their characters as we progress through the game. Because I'm not sure. I'm also not sure if what I just said made any sense. But I'm just thinking, like, if, if I had, you know, if Kalia and Yaspar didn't like me, I don't know that we'd be having these, these deep conversations, which would be a shame. Because you're really missing out on an important aspect of the game. But... With all that being said, this has been End of All Forgotten Stories. I am Loki the Mad Titan. I love this game. I, I, I just not part of my normal uh, outro, but it's uh, it's it's special. It's definitely special, and not in a negative way. Definitely in a positive way. I bid you adieu. Goodbye and good night, Pathless. Thank you so very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please do so, or I will send this glowing orb to your house to keep you awake at night. Have a good night. See ya.